We apparently had a budget deal last night. That's no longer a budget deal from last night. So we had these negotiators from the Main Street Republican Organization. These are the moderates and a handful of um, Republican Freedom Caucus members, Byron Donaldson being one of them, Chip Roy being another one. So they came out with a compromise that they thought was going to be pretty effective, which was a continuing resolution, a CR. Soon as they say CR, you know you're in trouble immediately. So they come out with this new CR, and they say, okay, it's only going to be for 30 days till October 31st. It's going to buy us a little time, only 30 days. And what we're going to do is, except for, of course, entitlements and defense and homeland security, uh, we're going to cut all budgetary agencies by 8%, over this 30 days, so the so their Freedom Caucus and the conservatives and the budget hawks, the spending hawks should be happy because they're getting an 8% cut. Well, the 8% cut is not a real cut because it's 8% of one month. 8% of one month's budget. Well, that's 8% of one twelfth, which is less than 1%, which is a complete joke. What that means is we're not going to order paper clips this month. It's no cut. This is another nonsensical facade foisted on us by the Uniparty. Their objective of the continuing resolution is one thing, and that is get to another omnibus bill and continue the policies of Nancy Pelosi. Now, as soon as they announced this bill late last night, a number of Freedom Caucus members and hardliners immediately came out against it. Matt Gates, no. Marjorie Taylor Greene, no. Ralph Norman, no. Matt Rosendale, no. Eli Crane, no. Why? Because they said it's a facade. And it's a continuation of the Pelosi-Biden policies. This is a uniparty ploy to get you to go with the CR, which then will inevitably lead to an omnibus bill. Now, if you don't think that's, that's going to happen, let me ask you this. I'm just going to ask you point blank straight out. Consider this. They've been back a week. Now, I'm not even going to talk about the four or five weeks or whatever it is that they took took off or went back to their districts or however you want to frame it. But they've been back a week. Now, they had enough time in a week to negotiate the CR, but apparently they didn't have enough time to finish the other 11 of the 12 appropriations bills that are still out there that haven't been done. So let me get this straight. You have time to negotiate a deal on the debt ceiling and a continuing resolution, but you didn't have time to finish any of the other 11 appropriations bills and send them to the Senate. Now, if you had done three of these bills and said, hey, we needed to do 11, we got three, now we've got four, we're sending those to the Senate, We're making progress. Give us this 30-day CR. And by the end of that 30 days, the other eight, nine, whatever number appropriations bills will be done. We're going to send them to the Senate. Balls in their court. I might take a look at it. But they didn't get any of these done. So you got to ask yourself, if you didn't get any of the appropriations bills done, except one that was already there, you didn't do the other 11, And now you want another continuing resolution with an 8% cut, which doesn't represent 8%. It's 8% of one month, which is a joke. And and we know that's going to lead to an omnibus bill because if you were serious, you got to ask this question. If you were serious, why didn't we get any of the other appropriations bills done? Because they're not serious. 